kill. Representing the passionate town of Liverpool, Merseyside, England, here is the gorilla, Darren Till. This is a man unto himself, very special fighter and young man. He's a very special young man. He's a very special fighter, and the people are drawn to Darren Till. If you witness a Darren Till walkout, as you are right now, you understand that it's very special. He has that star quality, but that star quality means nothing. If you don't have the fighting ability, Darren Till definitely has the fighting ability. What a great frame for this welterweight division. Not always easy for him to make the 171 pound limit, but at least until further notice, Darren Till is a welterweight and a contender at that. Well, back in 2000, he took home a silver medal in the Olympic Games in freestyle wrestling. DC, you go way back with this man. He is the soldier of God, middleweight contender, Yoel Romero. From the moment I met Yoel Romero, way back in the wrestling days, you understand that he is something special. He's one of the most naturally gifted athletes that I have ever met in my entire life. Even though he started his MMA career very late, he has now developed striking skills to match that Olympic level wrestling, and it keeps him atop the UFC middleweight division. And your teammate Luke Rockhold said when he kicked him, he felt like he was kicking a metal ball. It's unbelievable, a man of steel. He has yet to realize a UFC middleweight title, most people believe at some point before his career is said and done, Romero will at the very least get another crack at the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Romero is 16 years the elder. The rest of the numbers are close. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And Specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy who's a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh! Oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Just out of range with the big right hand. The soldier of God gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, these guys throwing early. Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack. It's the head move. It's the athleticism of Yoel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. 
30 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight, elbow tight, big check in it, landed it right on the chin. Beautiful kick. Put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ooh, huge body shot. continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Kills that. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Hill gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, Hill gets hit with a kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. A little single collar tie there. He lands a switch. Oh, doubling up now, tripling up on that knee. Till's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, and he caught the kick. Under a minute to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Let's go. Look for that takedown. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just can Wow! Just misses with the punch by Romero. Round two coming up next. Both guys showing up in a big way tonight. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have to move. All right, round two forthcoming here. Yoel Romero versus the gorilla, Darren Till. Very nice leg kick there by Romero. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, yeah. if you're gonna sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken. Oh, Clipped him with the right hand there. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Nice stick with the right hand. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Big leg kick land. 
Effective punch there by Till. Big knee there. All right, so a nice shot there. To oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And he continues to work the body here. All right, so the unofficial fight numbers thus far, 80 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero and landing with 47% accuracy against Darren Till. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Nice punch by Till. Under three minutes now to go in the round. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Till's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Romero. Nice hammer fist. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, really starting to find a home for that hook here in round two. I watched him land hook after hook in round one. We start the second round, and he goes right back to the well. But well, why wouldn't he? He has one of the best hooks in the entire game. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looks like... Try to establish that jab. Nice stick with the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands that he's doing. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Hill circling towards the left side now. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Big call for Crunch Lands. Now he gets back to range. 15 seconds remain in the round. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique, and before you know it, boom! He lost that last round. You're losing the fight. We have five minutes to get this victory. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first.
All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right hook to the head block. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's the guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Back to the feet. And they separate. These are unofficial, but 147 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. And landing at a pretty good clip here tonight, 58% the accuracy rate against Yoel Romero. Slips that left hand. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the... Oh! Oh! He's done it! He's done it! Back to the feet! Under two minutes to go in round three. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC, so for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal, because now he has to try and stop. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet! Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Whoa! What a to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice straight punch. Go! Oh! Wow. Wow! He's hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. Till gets up, but the question is for how long. He looks wobbly. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right hand and finds the target. I mean, you watch him. He's knocked out some of the greatest middleweights of all time. Luke Rockwell, Chris Weidman. He's put guys to sleep in a variety of ways, and tonight he does it. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Nice kick. And that one certainly found the target. 15 seconds to go. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Darren Till. Effective strike there by Romero. Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a fight! All right, 
right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30 27, 9 28, 29 28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Darren.